Vitellius, the year 648, early summer. The northeastern nation of Dayan lost a bloody war with neighboring Crimea three years ago. Crimea, however, abdicated its right to rule Dayan and passed sovereignty of its former enemy to the powerful Benyon Empire. Dayan's future is now subject to the whims of the Empire. Benyon's occupation forces have gathered all Dayan men of fighting age and put them to work in labor camps. Their work is brutal and void of purpose, designed to break both body and spirit. The remaining population faces poverty and starvation as the fields lie fallow. A band of young heroes has escaped the Benyon army to form a group called the Dawn Brigade. Fighting for a free day in, they alone have stood against Benyon's forces. They alone have shouldered the hopes of their nation. Among the company is a young girl named Micaiah, who is said to possess mystical powers. The people of Dayan have come to know her as the Silver-Haired Maiden. They have come to think of her as the savior for whom they had been waiting. Benyon's forces have tried time and again to capture and silence the Dawn Brigade. However, Micaiah's ability to sense impending danger has thus far allowed the Dawn Brigade to evade the Empire's grasp.
Thank you.